Good morning, happy Monday everybody, ready for our Thanksgiving week, and we are talking about more of this, more of our beautiful sunrises and sunsets, look at Linda sending this in, First Coast Weather Watchers, keep those pictures coming because we are talking about the weather pick of the country for the holiday, we can show off our beautiful home to all of our family and friends, especially the ones coming down from the north. All right, and speaking of today, hey, we've got our chilliest start in at least two weeks, and really, there's going to be some spots that will see the coldest of the season this morning. So, woo, a little November, with 39 to start. 39 is the coldest we've been so far this season. And notice by noon, though, we've got the full sunshine, 65 degrees. I would stay away from the shade if you don't like it chilly, though. All right, we will nip 70 by late today with a nice light northwest wind. The beach is also warming up nicely. So, coldest start of the season for many, and then a fine finish with a high of 70. Travel weather looking good from east to west. We are going to start to see the big changes in travel tomorrow. We're tracking two storm systems across the country. Really the messiest of the weather for travel will be out west and the midwest. So keep that in mind. Right now good flying weather, good driving weather, but look how things change even by late today. All right, so tomorrow, uh, notice that's when things are really going to go downhill across the country. We've got an area of low pressure near Oklahoma, increasing rain and snow across the Midwest, and then a second low developing out west as well. Uh, so check those travel plans. Now, good driving weather up and down the East Coast tomorrow. Wednesday will change, though. That front moves east, so increasing rain showers from Georgia, Atlanta, up to Charlotte, D.C., New York City. Be careful. A lot of folks... That's when they hit I-95 on Wednesday. There will be some rain to contend with as that low pressure moves across Indiana and up into Michigan. Second storm brews out west, and that'll just kind of sit out there and really cause some big trouble and havoc as we head in toward Thanksgiving. But for much of the country, as that low pressure moves across New England, we'll dry out as we head into Thanksgiving with beautiful weather, including here at home. Yes, the most beautiful weather. 70 for our Monday to start. We'll warm up to 80 ahead of the front. Some call us a roller coaster ride. Let's get real. We're, we're lucky. It's beautiful. It's a nice, it's a nice ride, a fun and sun ride. Uh, we will cool down a bit, low to mid-70s Thursday and Friday, but feeling great. And there's our weather pick of the country for Thanksgiving. Tony's Turkey Trot, the Mandarin Long Distance Classic for all the runners looking good with temperatures in the 60s and yeah, high in the low to mid-70s. The rest of the weekend will only heat up. So we've got beach weather out there by Saturday near 80. Sunday had to put some rain in the forecast, not an all-day rain, so we'll put a little sun in there. Most of the shower activity will hold off until late day. Most models now agree we will hit 80 once again on Sunday ahead of next week's big cool down. Next week's the week for frost and some real winter weather so we'll talk more about that in the 10 day coming right up. Have a wonderful Monday and an early happy Thanksgiving.